Hey guys, what's up? Maya here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get and use TDSM, otherwise known as Terraria's dedicated server mod. In my opinion, the best server mod out there. It supports Mac, Windows, and Linux, and it works on all three of them. It doesn't just support them, it works on all three of them. I, I know some of the other server softwares have actually said they support all those ones, but uh, then they actually had trouble getting it to work on the other operating systems. So, what's so great about this latest build? Well, uh, as you may have noticed, a little while back, Death Cradle did say he was going to stop development, but uh, he has kind of kicked back into Overdrive, really, and he is just pumping out the code for this. So uh, the things that he added was, you know, just the standard things that you do need for the server. So, uh, you know, the option to set it to hard mode and to support hard mode, all of the new NPCs, items, things like that, added in 1.1 and 1.2, including the invasions. Uh, it's also added more hooks for the new bosses, snow, there's better server properties and command line arguments. You can also change your language in this program if you want. And I will be doing a video tutorial on how you can do that, but it is very, very easy. There's also some API changes, uh, some better commands, and certain NPC spawning when summoning is disabled. There's uh, also better code names and standard tile compression for uh, better memory. There's also a world gen uh, and modify function semi overhaul. And last but not least, and probably the best thing, a player sandbox. So if you have someone that comes onto your server, they look a little bit dodgy, all you have to do is mark them. Once they're marked, the server will log every single block they destroy. And basically, you can just tell if they're griefing, uh, you know, where they've griefed, what they've griefed. And at the moment, they are working on a plugin, so they can actually restore all those blocks. So at the moment, it's really, really handy if you want to log a griefer, see what they're doing if you don't trust them, or if you don't trust a new person on your server. You can use this to log what they're doing. And then later on, when the update or the plugin is released, you will actually be able to restore all of the blocks that the player has damaged if they are a griefer. Now, that we've done all that, let's get into actually downloading TDSM. So it's really easy, just go to tdsm.org, there'll be links for all of this in the description. Click on forum, and now that you're here, there is going to be a whole heap of links up the top underneath, underneath the information tab. So the ones that we want to check out are going to be the latest TDSM build and the language tool. It's uh, also important to recognize that there is a couple of other useful links. So if you want to view the source code of this program or even help work on it, go to the GitHub. If you want more information, check out the wiki. And well, yeah, that's about it really. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use it once you have it. Okay, so once you have it downloaded, you should have the Terraria server.exe and the languages.exe, but only download the languages one if you actually want to change the language. So once you have it downloaded, Personally, I'd put it in its own new folder because it is going to create a few new files for itself. So simply just double click and run it. So as you can see here, it's initializing everything and because it's the first time I've run it, it's setting everything up. So it's set up all the folder paths, it's set up the properties. Now it's asking me, would you like to exit for editing? I'm going to say yes quickly. And what that means now is you can go in and edit your server properties before it actually starts to generate the map. So this is really, really convenient if you want to change things. So inside the server.properties, I'm not going to be going through all of these, but there is a huge amount of customization you can do with this. So uh, allow TDCM RPG, that's the, uh, the T TRPG mod we've made. If you want to allow that on your server, allow that. If you want it to always generate snow, even when it's not, you know, during the Christmas season, click true. Uh, you know, there's, there's plenty of other things. You can change the respawn time. Uh, what else can you change? There is also a way to change things like the amount of floating islands, which is also really cool. And uh, you can also change the amount of dungeons, but I can't quite find where that one is at the moment. There we go. Up number of dungeons. So as you can see, it's set to 1 by default. Alright, so once all those settings are happy, and usually they will just be, you know, pretty good as they are, run the server again, and as you can see, now that the, uh, you've run it for the second time, it does automatically start generating your world. Okay, so my map has finished making now, and I just wanted to show you guys something quickly. Over the left side here, I have TDSM, and over the right side here, I have the default Terraria server. So if you go into your Terraria uh, folder, there will just be a folder or uh, exe called Terraria server. So if you run that you can set up your own map and I'm just going to show you how much memory it uses and how much memory TDSM uses. So as you can see here this is Terraria server.exe. This is the default one. Both of these servers are running on a small map. I made sure I checked that they are both running on a small map. 
So as you can see, Terraria is using 284 meg of RAM, while TDSM is only using about 71 meg of RAM. So very, very, very efficient server software, and this is really, really why I like it. Okay, so now that you have all this done, I'm just going to quickly show you how to op yourself and how to log into your server and check things out. Okay, so once you have Terraria up, if you want to run and test your server out and uh, you're hosting the server on your PC, your own personal computer, simply type in 127.0.0.1 and basically all this means is that's kind of the local IP address, I guess you could say, for your own PC. If you want other people to be able to join your server, you're going to have to go to a website similar to whatsmyip.org or something like that. And uh, you're also going to have to make sure you have your ports forwarded. Now, I'm not going to be doing a video on that just because it's different for everyone. So you guys are going to have to work that part out yourself. So I'm just going to quickly join the server now. So uh, as you can see in here, my tutors has entered the server. So now I'm going to show you how to op yourself. Really, really simple. Type in op my tutors, then the password. So once again, if you want to op yourself, you type in op, no forward slashes or anything, just type in op, space, the username of the person, and if they do have a space in their name, make sure you do use the uh, quotation marks. So my tutors, and then space, and then you want your password. So the password can be anything. So because I did just give myself operator through the console like that, uh, I won't actually have to log in. I am now an op. but. If I was to disconnect from the server and then join again, I would have to log in. So if you want to do that, you just simply in the game chat window, go forward slash op login and then type your password. So mine was ASD. And there we go, successfully logged in as operator. So once you're, once you're an op, you can basically do anything you want with the server. Now there are lots and lots of commands that you can play around with, but I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm going to show you how you can find them all. If you type in help, it will actually bring up every command that is available. And uh, there is quite a few of them. So uh, as you can see here, you've got your standard ones for exiting the server. And, you know, it does stop and save the world. Uh, you know, you've got like your reload plugins. But the ones that you guys are probably going to be most interested in are things like the spawn NPC, being able to teleport. Uh, where else? You are being able to give yourself items and uh, also being able to kick and ban people. So as you can see, all of these commands are in here. And uh, you can either type these in the console. Uh, and remember, if you are typing them in the console, don't do a forward slash. Or you can type them in game and uh, then you will have to do a forward slash. So I will show you just how to use these commands at the moment because there is a help, but it is a little vague. So uh, it says give and it says give player items. So if you're going to actually give yourself items, go give my intruders one. Uh, what do we want? Ivy whip. So yeah, that's how you do it. Simply type in slash give space the username and just remember all of the commands have a similar sort of layout so if you want to spawn NPCs it's going to be exactly the same except you change give to spawn NPC and you change the name of the item to the name of the NPC so give my tutors space uh, 10 ivy whip and uh, it's important to note if the item does have a space in it don't don't include the space just type in ivy whip like that and boom give myself 10 ivy whip so that's how you guys can use TDSM. This is just a basic tutorial. Like I said, I will be doing more tutorials on, uh, you know, some more of the more in-depth stuff and uh, how to use the player sandbox, things like that if you're, you know, interested in anti-griefing. Now, before I end this video, I am just going to do a little request, I guess you could say. Uh, at the moment, Death Cradle actually runs a website that is basically just a list for a whole heap of Minecraft and Terraria servers. And I will be including a link for that in the description. At the moment, it is in desperate need of operators. So, if you guys have, if you guys are interested, basically, in running a website, all you need to know is just basic computer skills. You need to, you know, know how to activate people's accounts if they need it. You need to, you know, know how to basically just use a web interface. So, if you can do that, just uh, go over to tdsm.org and send an email to Death Cradle if you are interested in that position, and he will give you a lot more information regarding it. There will be a link.